I'll be telling you five things to know you've met the one okay although i knew my husband for over four years before we got married we only dated for one year yes and so i got some questions of people asking me how do you know he's your husband how did you make that decision so in this video I'll be breaking it all down for you not telling you my story per se maybe that will come in another video but i'll be telling you just five ways five ways for you to know you've met mr right how to know you have met the one for you without further ado without wasting much of our time without rambling too much let's get started oh fyi i'm wearing my husband's shirt just channel his energy yeah i love the oversized vibes he's giving me don't i look it i don't right okay let's get started the number one way to know that you have met the one is that hmm drum rolls he will protect you Yes, the one will protect you. He will protect you from his friends. He will protect you from his families. He will protect you basically from negative energies. And when I mean protect you, I mean he will fight for you. He will stand by you. He will protect you from them saying ill things about you, both his families and his friends. He will stand up for you. You know guys now how they talk. They just start laughing at them. He will be like, mm -mm, this one is the one. This one is not. If you see him protecting protect you in front of other people, or you see people talk down at you and he's like, hey, don't talk down down as how or he respects you breath of people okay he protects you protects your name whether you are there or you are not there in presence of his friends in presence of your friends in presence of his family he protects you he protects your name he protects your integrity he protects your image yeah you just know that you found the one it's not easy people tend to you know talk about at other people these days and if you meet that one person now your person your guy that doesn't talk bad at you that doesn't put talk back bad behind you that doesn't talk bad at your back you found the one he's a keeper keep him the number two reason to know that you have found mr right is he will not hide you he'll be proud to show you off i heard of a story of somebody that the boyfriend was always hiding her they were never seen in public they were never seen in public places they do not go out and whenever they go out maybe once in three months it's always in the night in hidden places maybe at a cinema you know just watch really late night movies and it, you know they are never out never they all they are either in the boy's house or they meet somewhere that is very 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 sketchy so if he's not proud of you he's not proud to show you off mm, 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 mm. <laughs> red flag just forget it he's having an event or the family is having a function or an event or there's a wedding coming up or you know there's a get together in the office or something and he's not even inviting you he, he doesn't even see a picture with you and him or he doesn't he doesn't want people to see you or him i'm not even talking social media because social media can be a sham these days i mean people can block you from seeing their status and only you will just be viewing the status that is not what i'm talking about i'm talking about you know being proud of you be proud to to be seen out with you i mean not just to family events because i mean that's like crossing the line that's like a big deal if you are sure 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 100 percent that's when you like meet the families and that's like you know way up there i mean like just going out letting people see you guys i mean mutual friends see you guys being in the midst of other people not being afraid of that he's proud to show you off he's proud to go out with you hmm. that may be a good sign that he has plans for you okay he has future plans with you you know what i mean another reason for you to know that you have found the one is that he will not want to hurt you intentionally yes he will not want to hurt you intentionally even though you may get hurt one way or the other we are human we tend to step on each other's toes we tend to hurt people but if you can see genuinely that he had good intentions and he do not mean any harm for you or he didn't really mean it for it to turn out that way or for it to hurt you intentionally he may be the one for you okay so just watch his motives listen to the red flags listen to the green lights he's giving you watch his actions so when there's an offense and he gets angry or you you are angry with him and he comes up to give an explanation and you see genuinely in his explanation that he did not intend that evil to happen to you or he did not intend to hurt you deliberately he may be the one the fourth reason is he wants the best for you 
yes and when i mean the best for you i mean the very best in your career in your academics in your pursuit for spiritual excellence in everything you do he wants the best for you so take for instance yeah you have an exam coming up and he's always cheering you on oh have you studied today what did you study how far are you, how are you preparing for your exams you know he definitely wants that success for you or oh, it's somebody that oh you're in the office and he's cheering you on please how was the presentation today hope you're getting the job hope you're like he, he wants your dream he's not afraid of your success he's not being intimidated by your success he genuinely wants the best for you he wants to see you grow he wants to see you strive genuinely from a place of concern from a place of love you may just have the one okay you may have the one right there he may be the one for you yeah so the fifth reason last but not the least on this video the fifth reason to know that he is the one for you is hmm your values and purpose align what that means let me not over spiritualize this but when the main core and intimate values aligns between the two of you you may just have mr right in your hand yeah so when i mean core intimate values i mean your values spiritually your views on honesty your views on integrity you know savings investment you know the little, little things your core values align then he may be the one but you know some people these days be like oh he's not tall he's not dark he's not handsome he's not polished he doesn't have swag sis all those things can be taught as far as i'm concerned you can teach swag you can teach you can touch him up you can dress him up you can do all those good things you can teach him cutlery you can teach him manners you can teach him every other thing but you see core values integrity patience honesty gentleness sis you can't teach those things if he's good he's good you can't teach those things okay so if he has core values that align with yours and they are i mean good values aligning with your sis you've got a good one keep it don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to this thank you for watching this video i hope you learned a thing or two from it i'm just happy today i'm excited as you can tell from this video i like the vibes i'm bringing today i hope you're doing good i hope you're doing well wherever you are god bless you have a great week bye how to know you've met the one Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you see my face for the very first time, my name is Blessing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you see my face for the very first time, hey, my name is Blessing. Welcome back to the channel.